Hey everyone, welcome back to this master series on learning coding patterns. My name is Muhammad Ali and today we are going to solve question number three of lead code, longest substring without repeating characters um, using dynamic size sliding window approach. Okay, so what we are doing in this question, our goal is pretty simple. We are given a string called S and we have to solve uh, we have to find the length of the lowest substring without repeating characters. Okay, so what this means is that uh, this is the substring, uh, this is the string S, and we have to find a substring uh, that contains unique characters. So if any substring will contain repeating characters so we will break that substring and we will go towards the next substring and we'll check whether that substring size is uh, larger than the previous substring that we have found if it will be greater than the previous one then we are going to update this variable max length so max length is basically representing the size of sub uh, of the maximum substring that we have found yet and then there's this character index map what this means is that we are basically maintaining our dictionary uh, hash map where we are basically um, writing down um, the alphabets or the elements of this uh, this string uh, the characters here abc and what we are uh, doing in front of them we are uh, going to update their indexes okay how we are going to update their indexes uh, you will see in a moment so the aim is pretty simple uh, characters will be here and indices will be here okay now how to proceed so here we have this left and we uh, here we have this right both of them are at zero index but why Ali left is pointing at this side and right is pointed at this side so just to uh, just to show you that uh, these two are representing two walls of our window so this shaded area is our window basically so we will uh, we will expand our window and we will shrink it depending on the use case or the condition we will see in a moment and that's why uh, we are calling it as a dynamic size sliding window so our uh, window size will be dynamic it will vary depending on the condition okay so but uh, keep this mind keep this in mind that left is also pointing at zero index and right is also pointing at zero index cool now uh, if you think logically what we should do we have this uh, window right now it is at a so um, what we are going to do we are going to first update our hash map uh, which is maintaining the indices of characters uh, inside our string okay so here we have a and right now our window if i just remove it here so right now if i let's say freshly put up put my window here so uh, right now in my window there is only a so what I'm going to do I'm going to update this hash uh, this hash map with the index so here a's value will be 0 because uh, a is at 0 index okay now what we are going to do we are going to um, check the maximum length so right now the length of our window is 1 okay so let's update it with 1 now what we are going to do we are going to move our right pointer to b now our window will increase will expand and now what our window contains our window contains a and b both are unique characters okay awesome so what we are going to do we are going to update this hash map because we have found out b so b's uh, index is one so here is one now how many characters are in our uh, substring or in our window so there are two characters so what we are going to do we are simply going to come here and we are going to update it with two okay now what we are going to do we are going to move our pointer here to c now again we have found a unique character which is not present in our uh, in this character index map so um, uh, so what we are going to do we are simply going to come here and expand our window not present means like here we do we uh, we doesn't contain this hash map doesn't contain the uh, the index of c so that's why now we are what we are going to do we are going to update this hash map so c's index is 2 okay now what is the size of this substring this uh, this window size is 3 because there are three characters okay 
so come here and update it the condition is that all of the characters in our window in our substring are unique okay awesome now what we will do we will move one step forward now here right has encountered a so what we will do we will increase we will expand our window but when we will expand our window you will observe that there are two a's oh, oh this is the breach of the condition because our goal is to find longest substring but without repeating characters so we have found out a and we have already seen a here so what we are going to do we are going to move left to which position whatever the value of the uh, character that is repeating and the previous value is present in character index map so we are going to simply add one to it so here we are uh, the previous a was at zero index so what we are going to do we are going to add plus one to this zero which will become one okay zero plus one is one so uh, we are going to move this left to one to first index okay now this left is representing the wall of our window so our window will shrink to this position cool now what we are going to do we are going to update um, what the uh, the index of whatever the element at the right is pointing towards the character so right is pointing towards a so let's update the index so the updated index of a is three because here you can see a is at three so let's update it with three now how many characters are there in in our uh, in our sliding window there are in our substring there are three characters right so we have already found a substring that was of uh, size three so we do not need to update it because our goal is to identify the longest substring right so uh, if the size is similar uh, than the previous one then we simply ignore and, and what we will do we will move one step forward so now right will come to b okay again our window will in expand but when we are going to expand our window you will find out that b is point right is pointing towards b and there is also a b present in inside our substring in in our sliding window okay so what we will do we are going to um, add one to whatever the correct index map uh, like b's value is so b's value is one so let's simply add one to it so one plus one will be two so what we will do we will move this left to two and now our window will shrink because left is uh, representing the uh, the uh, left side wall of our window so here is left so now our window has been shrunk and now we are going to update uh, b's like um, index whatever right is pointing towards so right is pointing towards b and right is at fourth index so let's make this one as four so come here and let's update it it has it has become four now again how many characters are there there are three characters in our sliding window right so let's leave it as it is and what we are going to do we are going to move this right one step forward now right has encountered c again we are going to expand our window but when we will expand our window we will see that okay there are uh, there is also another c that we have encountered before so what we will do again we will come here in our character index map and we will look okay see the previous c was at two so what we will do we will simply add one to it plus one so if i just do plus one so two plus one will be three so now what uh, what we are going to do we are simply going to move this left to three and simply shrink our window to uh, whatever index left is pointing towards so it will be three right now let's update c's count here in correct index map so uh, what, what uh, the index of c so what the new index will be since right is pointing towards uh, c at fifth index so what we will do we will simply come here and we will make it five okay again how many characters are there in our sliding window three so let's leave it as it is come here and then move right one step forward now 
when right uh, will reach at sixth index it is again pointing towards p so let's expand our window because this side is basically the right side okay so um, again we have encountered two b's okay in our substring so what we have to do we have to come here and here you find b so what you will do you will simply plus one to it so four plus one equals to five so uh, where left will uh, now move towards left will be pointed at fifth index okay so let's make it come here and now we are simply going to shrink this window to fifth index okay and now we are going to update the b's index uh, with the new value so the new value is at sixth index so come here update it with six now how many characters are there there are two characters right in our window our goal is to find out the longest substring so will we update it no we are not update this we are not going to update this variable max length because it has it has three uh, the previous window size was three and now the new window size is two so three is greater than two so that's why we are not going to update it if let's say it was four so we we would have updated it with four but since the size is two so what we are going to do we are simply going to ignore it and move our right one step forward again right has encountered b so what we will do we will expand our window to this point and then in our sliding window we have encountered two b's so there are two b's so what will happen um, we are going to update this b's uh, uh, we are going to first add one to it so six plus one will be seven uh, don't worry we are going to update this correct uh, index map but uh, before doing that we have to move this left one step forward so six plus one it will be seven okay so let's come here and directly move this left to seven as left is now pointing at seven so our window will shrink to up uh, to seventh index okay now we are going to update this b with the new value so now the new value will be um since right uh, is pointing towards b at seventh index so the new value will be seven okay now uh, now we are going to end our loop but before uh, ending our loop just to discuss right now our slide our window size is one again we are not going to update our max length variable because i mean one is smaller than three and our aim is to find the longest one so that's why we will leave it as three okay now why why not we are moving forward because there are no such elements and that's why our loop will end here okay i hope by now you have at least uh, built up the intuition how this question is going to be solved if you still um, if you still not feel confident enough to code just uh, just with the help of this visualization no worries i get you just uh, what i will suggest you is to not lose hope but rather just try to try to code try to just uh, give it a try what's the worst thing will happen uh, the worst thing that can happen is that you are going to fail okay the, your code will not run no worries um, i'm going to solve this question on lead code as well so you can uh, you can check uh, with my solution okay where you uh, you went wrong what step needed improvements where you can correct yourself in order to uh, in order to correctly solve this question but the the aim is to build up the intuition of solving these questions okay and that's why when you will try uh, um, maybe you might not solve it in one go correctly 100% right but at least you will um, you will feel you will face some improvement you will feel that yes at least something is changing something is changing positively towards the good part so that's why this is my aim so if uh, if if you if you really want to learn these things my suggestion is 
pause this video uh, i'll show you the question uh, on lead code as well so go to this question and try to solve it just uh, based on the understanding of this visual because when you will be in your interview my aim is to make you habitual of visualizing the uh, the solution and whole process in your mind so that you can correctly code it in your interview um, without the help of any solution or so just by looking at the question and thinking okay this is the whole process th th uh, with which this question is going to be solved and hopefully you might be able to solve this question right away so let's jump towards the uh, lead code part but uh, my suggestion is please give this question a try on your own before uh, looking at the solution and then after writing your solution then you compare it with my solution and see okay uh, what things need to change and how you can make it better okay so now we are at uh, lead code and here is the question number three longest substring without repeating character the difficulty level is medium but i hope with the help of visualization the this this difficulty level will uh, feel like easier to you okay it will feel like easy to you okay so this was the example that we have just seen okay and the output is three okay now what we are going to do we are going to write uh, the code here okay so i uh, created three variables initially right so um four so there there was left there was right there was max length and character index map so let's make uh, those variables so first max length it is zero and then come to left and left will be zero again character let's make it idx map so character index map is going to be a dictionary okay if you go to this if, if, if you visit this visualization here i have mentioned that this is a dictionary okay this is a hash map so, and now after like initializing these three variables what we are going to do we are going to uh, start our loop and in our loop for right in so um, right will also be initialized at zeroth index okay so range length s okay s is the string name now we have created right we have created left max length character idx map now what we are going to do now we are going to write down our first condition if s right okay so let's say this character this is the s string so the first character is going to be this one s right c at zero the index a so if s right is in character idx map and i'm assuming like let's say if it is already in this character index map and um, character idx map and then s right so let's say this a is already in a character index map and in inside a character index map this a is value so the a's index is basically greater than or equal to left's uh, value which is at, at this time zero so um this a is where a is at zero the index and this correct uh, th this left is also at zero so this condition will not work but what will happen when it will work so we are going to update our left value remember that left was jumping towards uh, the uh, the right side um, when whenever we have encountered a repeating character so how it was doing that part um, so I have this char habit so we are going to write character index map and then s right and then we are going to add plus one so what we were doing we were simply coming here to this character index map and whatever the let's say when it was b so we added plus one to it okay whatever right was pointing towards so we are defining that logic here now let's say if uh, initially um, a was not in correct index map when our loop started at zero index so what would have happened what will happen 
um, so what we are going to do we are going to update again this s right with right okay so what we are going to do we are going to update our character index map the key is going to be a the string and the value is going to be the index which is at this like for for this element it will be zero okay afterwards we are going to check the length of our window so max length equals to max and max of what max length which uh, which uh, whatever we have seen before these the window or the substring that we have seen before versus right minus left plus one okay oh, this is the formula of calculating the size of a sliding window the length of a sliding window so if you come here here i have mentioned the uh, the formula here as well so max length formula is right index minus left index plus one okay once we are done with this so what we are going to do we are simply going to return our max length because um, this is the question that we have to return the longest substring without repeating characters okay that's it so now click on run and so our initial test cases got accepted now let's click on submit awesome so uh, our final submission is now done all the test cases are accepted so that's it so thank you so much for your time i hope you like the solution um, please give it a try um, if you have any concern if if you have any question feel free to comment down discuss if you have any feedback for me how i can improve um, my delivery my content any ideas any suggestions please feel free to do so just come here and please give me that feedback in in comments i would love to read it and apply it in order to improve um, i believe together we all grow we all learn and we all get better so uh, i hope that uh, my this effort is going to help you in your technical interview and in securing great jobs so uh, best wishes and i'll see you with the new question in the new video till then take care bye